Okay, so I've got a Dyson V10 Total Clean to try out. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, porridge and cookies test on low power, medium power and maximum power. I'm going to start with low power first um, and uh, move along to medium power and then high power. Okay, so that worked fine. I'm gonna empty it because it's actually quite a lot of content with these cookies. So, nice, easy empty. Um, one thing I like about uh, the new V10 is this push to empty and it pushes it away from you, it kind of ejects it. So, let's push it out. Managed to miss a bit, <laughs> Never mind. Right, so let's go for medium. It's on medium now. Okay, nothing dropping out, which is, that's interesting. So nothing dropping out of here at all. Um, that's very nice to see. So push to eject, give it a shake. So now high power, maximum power. So again, nice easy eject. Well, let's move this. So definitely an improvement for ejecting the um, the debris that's in here. Um, on the uh, V8, you would pull up, which was some people found it a bit hard, a bit stiff to pull up. Uh, on the V6, you would push down, um, but it wouldn't release. Uh, it wouldn't push all the debris down. You you sometimes had to take off the casing, but on this one, it pushes down really really easy i mean i've read some reports that this is stiff but i can, i mean it's it's so easy you could use your little finger and it comes off really really easily so whether over time they get better i mean not this has been emptied loads but um yeah really really easy but as you can see it sweeps down so when you look in this part it sweeps this part which if you're a v6 owner you'll know that fluff goes up around here so the v10 has really improved that um, so nothing's left behind. This whole new design where everything uh, goes in a straight line is excellent as well. Um, the filter comes off really easy as well. So again, V6s, the filters over time would, would get a bit, uh, a bit loose and fall out when you're vacuuming. Um, now, the max power, I don't think I'd ever use max power. Um, as you could see from the test, it picked up cookies and porridge uh, as, as it was uh, on the low power. Um, and that's a lot of uh, vacuuming up to do, especially for a cordless cleaner. So I would tend to stick to either low power or if I really needed it, medium, but I think it's rare that I would use max. Although that said, I did use max yesterday on my V6 because I dropped some glass in the kitchen, uh, a wine glass and it shattered. So I just wanted to be more sure. But for everyday cleaning, to get your much better battery lives, you can go for the uh, low power setting or the medium power, which I think is, is nearly half an hour on the medium power. Um, as I say, the max power, I mean, maybe if you clean the car, you've got something particularly stubborn or you've spilt a lot of things, then you might want to go up to max. But I think that's really, it's kind of there just to say, uh, oh, this is how, how good the suction can be. But obviously the battery life takes a hit. Um, but really, low power or medium power. So a question I often get about Dyson's is, uh, do you have to use the docking station? Some people are put off by the docking station. Now, I use the docking station in a spare room. It's kind of behind a curtain, so you don't even see it, and it's very convenient for me to plug in. But I mean, whether space is a premium or people just don't want the hassle of having to put a docking station up, 
Well, the charger uh, is this. This is part that goes in the docking station, but you can use it without the docking station. So there's a power point, just like you'd have on a mobile phone or something here, uh, and that's what you'd plug in. So plug that in the mains. This can be charged wherever you want, really. Um, so it could be in the garage or you know on a kitchen surface. Uh, it does actually stand up uh, as is, so you can charge it like that. Um, or you could lay it down, whichever whichever your preference is. But now the new thing on the V10 is it's got a battery indicator, which I don't think any Dyson's have had before. Uh, so if I plug it in, now I've been doing a few tests this morning, just playing around with it. You can see that it's charging. Uh, it's on two bars going to three bars. So that goes to full, and then uh, when it's fully charged, this goes out, so you know that it's fully charged. Um, but that's that's how you can charge it without having to use the docking station. So all of the tools go directly into the front of this. So this is the mattress tool um, to basically get or get rid of everything on your mattress. Um, now, easy to eject. Try other uh, other vacuum cleaners in the shop, that, but you'll find that Dyson's they come out and go in really easy. There's no real resistance there. Everything's kind of two-handed with a with a cordless cleaner. Um, but, uh, but they do go in really easy. So mattress tool, this is an extension hose. Now I really like this one, especially for the car. Um, so basically you can get just a bit more length on that uh, and it retracts as well. So as you're, as you're pulling it, it goes back on its own. Um, so if you were to put the uh, mini turbine or the crevice tool or something like that, so there we go, there's the, crev uh, the crevice tool on there. So you've got a bit more distance with that. Um, but also we've got the combination brush, I think they call this. Yeah, combination tool. So you can push this down and you've got a very soft brush. Push that back and you've got a bit more of a stubborn um, brush. I never use this one. Uh, I would always tend to use motorized tools, but you know, it's nice that, that they give you all these choices. Then we have this one. Now I looked at this one for a while and I, and I couldn't really work out what it was because I, I didn't know if it was adjusting suction or anything like that. Um, but all it is, it, you put a tool on it and it changes the angle you can get that tool to. So you can even get it to go back on itself. So say for instance your Dyson is plugged this way, uh, it's actually going so you can get downward pressure on the top of say a uh, door, uh, on the tops of doors or just hard to reach areas. But you can actually move it to any angle and still get pressure at all sorts of angles. Obviously straight you wouldn't use it because you've already got straight with that. Uh, then we've got uh, my favourite for, for hard floors, this uh, fluffy tool, which is a lovely big opening. So uh, it picks up such big items uh, and it's got this sponge with some carbon fibre brushes, nice big opening as well. So great for hard floors uh, and you've already seen me using the carpet tool uh, doing the porridge test. And the last one, there is a mini motorised tool, uh, which is a, a powered brush tool, uh, which is good for the car. Uh, and upholstery. I must have left that in the box because um, I, I haven't got that here um, and I, I didn't bring the box with me. I put everything in a bag to, to just borrow it for an hour. Um, so yeah, the mini motorized tool as well comes with the total clean. So final thoughts, um, I think it's great. I mean, it, it, it just is the best uh, cordless cleaner I've ever tried and I think I've tried pretty much all of them. Um, it's, it's really nice to use, the eject is brilliant. The battery life has improved massively. Now I'm gonna, I've done another video of this one running on full power, just left with the, uh, the power button in because I've had someone say that it only lasts for six minutes. Now, I, I hadn't heard that, so I tried it and uh, <clears throat> you'll see from the test, it does last more than six minutes, but this is on high power. Uh, and you, I can't think of when you need high power. As I say, it, it's medium and low power is great. Uh, and that's all I would generally use it on. If I had something particularly stubborn, then I guess I would use high power, but uh, you see what it did with the, with the cookies and, and porridge, it just it picked that up brilliantly. So uh, yeah, it, it's a great cleaner. Um, but then again, so is the V7 and the V8. This is the best of all of them, uh, but I guess on the day it would be, for me, price would be the thing. So if there was a big significant saving on a V7 or a V8, they're still great cleaners. Um, the V6, I've still got, and I still really like it, but obviously having tried all the others, I know the others are better, the suction is better, um, the pickup is better, the battery life is better. Um, 
the emptying is is a big thing on the v6 you know you you often find that fluff gets caught up in the contact so i would happily have a v7 a v8 or a v10 but the v10 is the best all right thanks very much for watching please subscribe